This kind of thing, it, the, the George Soros example, does that create a further sense that this is a space that's being more institutionalised? Oh, definitely. We've always known that there's a wall of institutional money waiting on the sidelines, and this is an example of that. I know that Rothschilds has also come out recently and, and said they're interested in getting into the space. This market has been dominated by retail players, so it's very exciting to see this development, as well as opening up our own fund. We've had Australia come out over the last 24 hours with further regulations for uh, those operators in the crypto space. There's definitely a sense that regulations and policies are struggling to catch up with the technology. Do you think more regulation is, is needed to legitimise this area? I think there's some more regulation that needs to be placed around initial coin offerings. So I was actually um, in my position as Vice Chairman of Australia's industry body uh, we work to establish that code of conduct for digital currency exchanges. So um, individuals and companies that wanted to purchase digital assets in Australia were able to go there safely as well as establish you know, stable commercial partnerships with banks. And uh, also we've been able to establish uh, an even framework from a taxation perspective. So the third leg of that now is establishing initial coin offerings, the regulations around that, and um, I'll be chairing that committee. You know, there's been this kind of phenomenon of, of regulatory arbitrage when it comes to crypto companies moving between the likes of South Korea and Japan and China as the rules and the laws are changing very quickly. Do you think Australia as a base uh, has, has a positive environment for innovation? Ab absolutely. Australia's got a fantastic framework for digital currency businesses and blockchain businesses. So really helping to support that over here. The only negative obviously would be the higher taxation. However, I think that open environment, um, as well as uh, a lot of supportive individuals and businesses, uh, I think that makes Australia you know, really leading the way. We've seen um, Japan come on very strongly too. Uh, a lot of people have exited China and, and Japan sort of been propping up on the back of that. Lee, I'm curious, you know, that news about George Soros who proclaimed, you know, uh, Bitcoin in a bubble earlier this year now looks to have gotten some clearance to, uh, to actually trade cryptocurrencies. What do you make of, of billionaire George Soros getting into this market? It's a fantastic positive sign for the industry that, you know, crypto assets are an asset class here to stay. They certainly timed the market well, but... You know, not uh, participating in that December and, and January bull run, mm -hmm. uh, where the marketplace was you know, valued at around $850 billion. You know, We're looking at only around 250 to 300 right now. So to establish you know, the fund at the, these levels, you know, that makes a lot of sense. And obviously, you know, with ourselves providing advisory services to businesses uh, to launch their own crypto assets, you know, we can identify that as a pretty exciting time to enter the market too. Does it also tell you there, there might be a bottom here for Bitcoin? Well, I think it's, it's certainly been uh, driven by a fall in the valuations uh, that have sort of cascaded. New entrants have come in and, you know, they've been hit and maybe stepped out. However, you know, you've seen regulations turn mildly positive, you know, which was sort of coming out maybe some knee-jerk reactions early on. You've heard about the positive stance Australia's taken. Obviously, Japan's looking to regulate initial coin offerings too in a favourable way. So that's two sort of positive pieces of news. Then you've had, obviously, the two major crypto hedge funds um, from you know, some of the wealthiest uh, family offices in the world getting right. involved. So, you know, this, this could be the time that the market is turning.